Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here with a brand new video series in which I dissect the newest episode of My Hero Academia the anime and compare it to the manga chapters that it adapts from. Uh, so here we are, the very first episode of the series. I'm taking a look at episode 3 of season 5 and comparing it to chapters 194 and 195 of the manga. That's, those are the two chapters for the most part that this episode covers. Um, I say for the most part because sometimes there's a little bit spill into the next, uh, the following chapter or vice versa. There was a prior chapter that this spills into. Um, but for the most part, 194 and 195. What I did was, as I watched the episode, I followed along in the manga <clears throat> and took notes as to what the differences were. Now I have four main categories as to what the differences are and that's just the point of these video series is to dissect them. Um, things that, okay, I'll just go ahead and say it. Uh, first category is anime original. That is something that only appears in the anime and never appeared in the manga. Um, whether that's to full, more flesh out a scene or whether they want to add something in that wasn't explained in the manga, it could be a various things. So that, that's the first category, anime original. Second category is one-to-one -one recreations of shots and or dialogue. Uh, an example being in this episode particular, there's a shot where it shows class 1B and it's just the whole group shot. That was a shot that was directly one-to-one -one with the one that was in the manga with some caveats, but we'll explain those as we go. Um, so that's the second category. Oh, by the way, ab about that category, the dialogue one, that's something we're going to be talking about. Uh, I have something, a great talking point about that actually in this episode. So we'll get to that when we get to that. <clears throat> Third category is manga cut material. Uh, this is one that I think most people get upset about is if there's something that happens in the manga that isn't shown in the anime. Um, but spoiler alert, if, if this episode is anything to go off of, uh, very little, if anything, has been cut from the manga into the anime, at least for this episode. So that bodes well for this season. If that keeps pace, then I think everyone's going to be happy. Um, again, we'll get to that and we'll get to that. Lastly, uh, we have anime altered. That is a scene that happens in the manga, but the anime <clears throat> has a different spin on it. Um, they might change a detail or change dialogue in a specific way. Um, so it's the same scene, but the anime definitely changes some things around. Um, and uh, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I took quite a few notes. Um, and I, I probably missed one or two things here or there, but this is a very casual series. This is just going to be me uh, going through it all. And uh, yeah, uh, this episode might be rough. Who knows? I don't really know how well it's, how smoothly it's going to go, but uh, I have the full episode up right here and I'm going to skim through uh, scene by scene and talk about uh, how it compares to the manga with you guys. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down, down below. Hopefully that was a good explanation as to what the series is going to be like. Again, very casual, um, just for fun. So, let's dive on in. Uh, by the way, I won't be actually playing the episode. I'm going to be scrubbing through this with the Seek tool because I can't just play the episode. Um, hope you guys understand. Uh, so, we begin with Deku getting the Vestiges uh, flashback. This is carryover from the prior episode. This is not something that happens in chapter 194. Um, uh, there's nothing I want to talk about here. This is all just stuff that... It's, it's, it's recap, essentially. Uh, very quick, uh, something about the intro that's kind of fun and unique. Um, if I can find the exact shot. Uh, I'm not going to be breaking down the intro in this, these videos. I'm just going to talk about this one thing this one time. Um, there's a scene... It's like... It's where... I think it's... Uh, Let's see if I can find it exactly. There's a scene where Deku is flying by. It's like right here. This shot, this is actually a callback to season two's intro one, where All Might's flying by the skyscraper and Deku's looking up at him. Um, this is the exact same pose that All Might does in that intro, and they brought it back for this intro. I just thought that was kind of fun and unique, so I wanted to point that out. Okay, we have arrived at where the anime actually starts matching the chapter 194 perfect, uh, perfectly. Um, now, just to begin, I want to say, going into this, going into this analysis, 
when I was taking notes and stuff, I fully expected there to not be too many one-to-one -one shots. I expected the anime to, while cover the same content, very much have its, for the most part, every scene be uniquely its own. I don't know if this episode is unique, but literally there there are so many one-to-one -one perfect adaptations of this uh, episode to the manga. It is actually scary. And spoiler, there's only one panel from the manga, this mon uh, these two manga chapters that was cut from the anime. Um, we'll get to that and we'll get there. But everything you see here with Deku running, especially this shot in particular, it's the exact same shot that you get in uh, the first page of 194. Um, also, yeah, with Ayuma checking up on Deku, that is indeed also in the first page as well. The exact same pose, everything you see Ayuma doing here. Um, it's, it's, like I said, just exactly like the manga. Uh, if I repeat myself a lot, that's because during these videos, that's going to happen. Um... So yeah, uh, let's see. Let me just change the page here. This shot with uh, the first user and all the other users uh, l reaching out to Deku again on page number two is the exact same. Um, one thing you'll notice, um, and I'm, I'll be talking about this as we go, uh, the difference mainly when you bring it to anime is it's a widescreen format. You're not gonna be able to show everything at once in a lot of different cases. And on the manga, you see the entire shot at once of all the users. And this, I believe it pans. Uh, yeah, it does kind of pan up. So that's something that it just kind of goes without saying. It's a change of medium. So um, here we get our first anime original scene. Um, in the manga, we don't actually see Deku look back at the school as the sun rises, and that is a great shot. So, great job, uh, Studio Bones. That really adds to the moment. Um, this is this does not this does not happen in the manga. Um, in the manga, Deku's jogging and he sees the flashback of uh, the users, and then it cuts straight to his talk with All Might. Um, by the way, I am showing different uh, stills. <clears throat> of the episode, but I won't be showing too many of the manga panels because in the past I've gotten in trouble by revealing manga panels. I don't know what the deal is with copyright with all that, but um, I just wanted to be known. I won't be showing them too much. Uh, so you'll kind of have to go, uh, you have to believe me when I say like what's one-to-one -one and whatnot. Um, hopefully you have your own copy of the manga or you subscribe to Viz um, so you can see all this as I go. But uh, yeah, so now we cut to his talk with All Might. Um, this shot right here, this big beautiful shot of this big beautiful man, uh, is literally, it's almost like they they sketched right over the manga panel. It's perfect. Uh, I'm not implying they did. I think that the, the staff at Studio Bones is just like that talented. Um, but yeah, they perfectly recreated this shot of All Might. Um, again, with them sitting down eating lunch, all this... Uh, now, here's our first case of, uh, not our first case, but um, of the anime kind of drawing out a scene while every there's nothing left out of the manga. Everything is perfectly in this episode um, outside of that one scene I talked about in the future. Uh, this is an example of the anime kind of fluffing it up a little bit uh, because this is 22 minutes of an episode. So they kind of add different shots, different dialogue um, because this talk between Deku and All Might uh, and the manga is only three pages long versus this where it's like a, f a few minutes, you know? Um, but yeah, as we're continuing on, uh, everything everything is all even, everything is all good. Interesting enough, okay. So here's the first big talking point about this episode. So the flashback with Nana is actually much longer in the, uh, <clears throat> in the anime. In the manga, it's literally just one page, and it's not even really fully one page. Um, now, different parts of their conversation, all the conversation we see in the manga between them is essentially brought here as well, but there's a few more lines that we get in this, as well as them jumping between the rooftops, and there's, in general, we just spend more time on these two in the anime, which is awesome, because that's kind of the point of anime, anime to, when you bring it to life, kind of add more to it, like you're breathing more life into it. Um, there is one interesting, here's to me, like one of the most interesting things that kind of happened in this episode. And 
For anyone who knows, I react to the episodes of the show myself on my channel. Uh, and something that I noticed, uh, so this line right here, um, even if one of us falls on the way, uh, so even if I die in one of these days, uh, that's pretty close. But the way, the way she follows it up um, actually changes. Uh, and it's, I, I noticed it right away. In the manga, <clears throat> she says, we can always meet again within one for all. Romantic, right? In the, in the translation here, she doesn't say that. She actually says, uh, an impossible dream. Um, so that's, first of all, a stark contrast. Now, the interesting thing here is, in the comments of my video, people said that the translation was wrong and that she actually, in Japanese, does say romantic, right? Um, <clears throat> now... I don't speak Japanese, so I can't confirm that, but I had a few people in the comments saying that A, she does say that in Japanese. They just simply typed it wrong here and it's not an impossible dream. Um, and two, um, people said that they have seen it translated correctly on other sites or whatever service they use. Again, I use Crunchyroll, so I don't know if that's just like a, I, I don't know what the choice is there, but um, so she might actually say it, and it might simply be a different translation of it. Um, so I just thought that was interesting. Uh, so we got more time with Nana, um, and I was kind of bummed out because I thought that I always thought that line from her was really cool. How she says, "Sounds kind of cult or romantic," I'd say. So even if I die one of these days, we can all meet again within one for all. Romantic, right? And that's that's definitely different than we got in the anime. So, um, but yeah, everything else pretty much the exact same uh let's see they talk about the singularity as well um again it's a little more drawn out in the anime we actually get scenes of like endeavor uh, and what uh, what happened with the the Todoroki family in the past um we don't get that analogy in the uh in the uh manga so that's just kind of fluff they added to the anime and uh let's see we should go forward a page here. Okay. Um, continuing everything again. Uh, their their talk. It's all there. It's all translated perfectly fine. Um, and it, this Deku, this line from Deku. Um, I just want to say how beautifully they brought this to life. Where Deku's like, oh, she. Uh, how he brings her up and she how how she's pretty. Uh, he even says th th so. This flashback. That actually, it actually does happen in the manga, and Deku saying your master was really pretty, and All Might replying like, "Yeah, um, that's the scene we get right here." And I just thought this was so cute. Um, literally, like, it's I, I don't, it's not exactly one to one because uh, the way they space it out is different. But this was just such a beautiful um, bring it to life. I I definitely had an awe moment. Um, Okay, continuing on, uh, the hallway scene with uh, Shinzo and Azawa, literally all the exact same, except for this right here. Uh, Aizawa, in the manga, when he sees the two walking down the hallway, and he says, oh, you two are chummy as ever, I see, that's pretty much the same. Um, and then All Might rebuttal saying, oh no, that's not what it looks like. In the manga, according to the Viz translation, it says, the corny excuses are getting old fast. Interesting enough, in the anime, according to uh, the Crunchyroll, it says, don't make it sound like you've you've uh, been caught in an affair, which is like, I, I I don't know. It's just, I find that interesting. That's like an interesting choice. Uh, let me let me clarify right now. I'm not bagging on translators for the anime. Um, I don't know if this is like, something they just decided for the flow of episodes or just adding their own spin. I'm not saying one's better over the other. Uh, I think both perfectly serve the purpose. Like there's no, there's no bad lines. Um, I just, I'm just pointing out the differences. That's purely what this series is about. Um, whether, what do you prefer for the scene is what you prefer. Um, again, this is just kind of me going through it all. And, uh, yeah. So, yep, yeah, Shinzo appearing, reacting to Deku, all the exact same. So let's keep going. Let me just take a look at my notes real quick. Um, okay. 
So the next point of interest is, okay, so all this, the exact same, this shot of uh, Mina in front of the other girls is for the most part, the exact same. I actually didn't notice this um, before. And the manga behind Sue right here, you would have Todoroki. Between these two, you would have uh, Ojiro. And then behind Jiro, you would have uh, Shoji. Um, and Shoji's still here in the anime one. But they just kind of restructured that. Uh, they just kind of basically... They basically took out all the guys and had a, had a shot with all the girls. So, interesting. Um, next... Uh, all this is the exact same. Uh, Bakugo walking up in the in the manga. He doesn't. He's not walking with Kirishima and uh, Denki, but uh, he does have the six. This is this is perfect, by the way. This uh, expression by Bakugo, exact same as the manga. Um, something that fans were actually kind of bummed out about. I saw this on Twitter. In the manga, uh, when Deku's replying with how cool uh, Bakugo's outfit is. He, uh, uh, like the speech bubble that comes out of Deku, Bakugo actually bites it out of frustration. Like, kind of like a fourth wall break thing. That didn't make the cut. Uh, but I get why. That'd be hard to do. Um, I just, I just, I just find that interesting. Uh, let's see. This scene with Uraraka, uh, getting jealous about, uh, Hagakure. Not Hagakure. Um, crap. What's the girl's name? Uh, Hatsume. <clears throat> Hatsume. Um, Literally, uh, one to one as well, including uh, you know all the the glamour shots and all that that they definitely wanted to emphasize again. Um, and Uraka punching herself and Ojiro freaking out. It's all it's all there. It's all good. Um, so this scene, uh, there's a scene. I can't know if I'm gonna be able to get the perfect frame here. So okay, there's the, you see that tumbleweed that just came by. That actually was also in the manga. Um, so again, as you can see from this episode, everything, every, basically every scene, they're definitely adding every single detail they possibly can from the manga. And it's great. I actually love it. Um, interesting though. Um, so when class one B arrives, obviously Monoma is leading the charge and we get this shot right here. Interesting enough. Um, so this shot in the anime actually includes the entire class. The shot in the manga does not. The shot in the manga has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So roughly half of the students aren't in the manga shot. Um, they definitely pulled back and showed the entire class in the anime. I like that choice. Um, there's nothing like again. Uh, just it's just a matter of uh, what you prefer. Um, let me see here. Go ahead. Okay, so yeah. And then we cut to Monoma. Oh yeah, this is also new, by the way. Um, they did not have this in the uh, manga, where they go through and say the names of all the students. And I actually really like this choice, because anime onlys, uh, they're not as... Like, people who read the manga are typically like super nerds about the show. I mean, I'm, I'm one. I read the show. I read the manga and watch the show and stuff. Uh, but for anime only, you know, you don't really know these characters as well. You've only seen some of them once, and then the rest of them not at all. So I actually really like how they kind of go through and uh, show off all the characters of the class. Very, very cool. Um, again, I think that's a good choice. And this shot with him holding up the uh, the survey, I guess. Like, <laughs> um, perfect as well. So... And then uh, we get another great one-to-one -one shot coming up right here. He's like, he keeps freaking out. And then uh, this shot with him choking Monoma with the scarf. Again, perfect. It's literally, if you read the manga, it's the exact same. I, I feel like I keep saying this, but like this episode, I don't know if it was just unique and that they wanted to do it really well for, like for this one, but man. Uh, all these shots are just like phenomenal. I, I'm laughing, like looking how similar they are. It's great. Um, so yeah, continuing on, let me take a look at my notes real quick. See if I forgot anything. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay, uh, continuing on. 
all this the same. Introducing introducing uh, Shinzo, uh, all this. Okay, so this is that marks the end. Of, by the way, interesting. Um, right as we get the mid transition card for this episode, that's actually the end of this chapter. Um, chapter one ninety four to be precise. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. We're now in one ninety five chapter. Uh, titled Clash, Class A versus Class B. I think that's actually the name of the episode. Uh, this one that we're like this episode name was Clash One uh, A versus One B. Okay, so all right. Again, uh, these are casual videos, so I'm not going to edit these too heavily or anything. But hopefully, you guys are enjoying um, this shot of Shinzo. Uh, again, 100%, exactly the same. Um, this this reaction from Deku and Ojiro, uh, if I can get it again, exactly the same. Like it's it's actually amazing, um, really impressive. And even the flashback of him at the sports festival, they they went they showed a little bit more in the anime, but that's because they can. Um, let's see, do 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 do. Uh, yeah, the, the vestiges, everything. Okay, just make sure. Okay. All right. Did I miss anything? Let's see. Okay. Um. <clears throat> all right. Continuing on. The flashback that was also in the manga. Um. Let's go. A little bit further, all this is the same. Uh, there's a shot in here, I think, of Deku appearing in, yep, right there, in the reflection of his eyes. That is a great shot. It's much smaller in the manga, but, like, I just think that made for a great shot. Like, this is literally a very tiny panel in the manga, but they just full-on, like, recreated it here, which is great. Um, and, uh, yeah, continuing on. Oh yeah, this this round of applause. Uh, I thought this was random. I thought I could. I was like, when I was watching this, I was like, this is for sure got to be just just in the anime, right? But no, they actually all clap uh, in the manga as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now we are approaching the one scene, the one panel that was uh, cut from the manga and didn't appear in the anime. So. Happens right after this shot of uh, Tatsuna and the Mushroom Girl and Beast Man and stuff talking. Um, let's see if I can go to the next scene. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, it should be b between this scene and the one you just saw. So, it's a very quick shot. I'll go ahead and show this. Uh, it's a very quick shot of uh, um, All Might and Midnight uh, walking through the gates to the facility. Um, that's literally all it is. Um, but the dialogue you see in that scene is kept in the anime. So, there you go. That was the one scene from the manga this, uh, this episode that was cut. And it's not even that important. It's not even a big deal. Okay. So, do, 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 uh, this scene right here. Uh, this is anime original. I don't think they actually show, uh, this kind of chart with the numbers this is I, I, I get why they did this um it's a nice visual to kind of just show the logic behind Shinzo joining in one fight for A and one fight for B um yeah continuing on let's see all right um I think this scene of Ida freaking out is also anime original I don't know if I took that in my notes it is. It is anime. Oh no, that's uh, that's in there. <laughs> I don't you know. He thought I, I thought I caught another one, but nope, it's in there too. Um, all right, continuing. So interesting enough, uh, we get. Uh, let me advance a little bit. When it's showing all the different matchups and stuff, um, in the anime, it's actually showing them all like individually. Uh, like this match this is matchup five and etc cetera, etc cetera. and the manga it's literally all of them like round one two three four five stacked on each other in one big group shot totally get why they did this in the anime 
makes sense to me. Why would you like that would that would be very difficult to draw the small faces and stuff and like what's the point? Like, why not just show them all one by one? Um and it just gives them more each group shot better time to shine, which is great. Um So yeah. Continuing on. All this is uh again, like literally it's 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 scary. Uh I w I'm curious to see how when the season progresses, uh, especially when we get to fights and stuff, how much they differ. Because the joint training arc is a controversial one, apparently. I, I personally love this arc, but when it was releasing, it was releasing in very short chapters and there was like breaks and stuff. Um, so the pacing is going to be a very interesting thing to watch as we go throughout um, all of these. So, uh, yeah, these shots again all one-to-one -one. um it's almost like someone traced it but they didn't i'm not accusing them of tracing it it's just being extremely faithful and uh yeah also this shot beautiful shot um uh, <laughs> again one-to-one -one. all right uh this shot of uh mina saying oh like all my and uh, uh midnight are here are they dating the exact same line she says in the manga even midnight's response is the same where it's like i don't date older men um and then walking up the steps exact same and now we cut to the battle itself let me go ahead and go ahead and go up a page so yeah um spoiler alert the entire uh rest of this episode is also one to one. I don't know how else to say it. Literally, oh no, there's actually one difference, and it's it's not even a big difference. So in the anime, they when they mention Ibra, Ibarra, I don't know how you pronounce pronounce her name. It's the it's the girl with the vines. When they mention her, Denki kind of like, it's like oh shit, that's her. And then it shows the flashback of the sports festival and her kicking his ass. Um, and the manga. They mention the name, and it just shows Denki freak out just on his face. And it doesn't mention anything. Which, I kind of like that version better. Because it because it serves to people who already know what happened. Versus the anime, where it's kind of like, oh, did you forget? Way back in season 2, this happened. Um, but, uh, you know, it's fine. You know, that's the benefit of an anime. You can kind of flush things out. Um, but I kind of liked in the manga, where it literally just showed Denki, like, having a scared expression on his face. And be like, oh shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go up a page. Uh, now we get um, Koda with the birds flying back to him, letting him know that uh, there's people nearby. Again, all this, this shot right here uh, with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jiroto, I think his name is. Um, Roar and Rage, the exact same. Literally, I'm tired of saying it already. I'll have to find a new way of saying this, but it's one-to-one. -one. Like, it's... You see this shot, it's the exact same as the manga. Um, down to everyone's reactions, too. It's crazy. Um, so that... Uh, okay, so then we get the, his explanation of his quirk. Do we get that in... Okay, we do. We do. Um, it's the exact same thing. It's just shows him a different light here it shows his whole body in this it's just his face uh jirocha so that was his name uh quirk beast and here we get present mike telling us everything so it's the exact same um next with uh coda getting caught in the air box yeah it's it's uh i don't know how long i'll do this series if literally every episode is so damn uh you know one to one i might just do this on like a case by case basis um for episodes that are like unique um and there actually are a lot of differences and stuff to talk about but in this one it's just it's incredible uh i was blown away um this is the this is the by the way this is the end shot of uh chapter one 195 and it's also the last shot we get of this episode so they clearly the people at studio bones they clearly were following this these two manga chapters as a guideline not just a guideline, more of like a, a rigid structure, but in a good way. Like not that it was limiting their creativity. It was 
we're bringing this anime to li- this manga to life, and we're gonna add some. We're gonna sprinkle in some extra stuff too, <clears throat> with like fluid animation and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not sure how many to- to- like how many people are gonna be interested in this series, but again, casual. Uh, I had a lot of fun breaking it down. I might do this uh, kind of more selective though uh, in the future, where it's like episodes that really, truly either have like a lot of cut content from the manga or um, more differences just from the anime in general. I think specifically once we get into these fights, so I guess these next few episodes and stuff, the fights are really where you're going to start to see the anime differentiate itself because not that the fights aren't awesome in the manga, they are, but like when you flush them out for an anime, I can't even imagine. There's going to be a lot of differences. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave your thoughts down below. Uh, did you enjoy this series? Do you want me to continue? Or is this something that you think should just be a one and done and never do this again? Um, it's very much just kind of throwing it out there. See so if you guys like it. And um, yeah. Until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. Stay tuned for the next one if you guys want it. <laughs>